Okay. So you are kind of on a roll with the Nikki and Deja books because you've passed the last two. So I want to keep working towards raising up your percentage. So let's look. Come here. So let's look at what your average is right now. That's what your average is. And what is what do we want it to be greater than? All right. 70 that are higher but if you look the last two books you did a good job so we just need to keep that going so um so good job for the improvement why do you think you're doing so well on these there's a thing that i'm um, yeah. reading it more you want to hold this okay. i think that i'm reading it more not um like skipping through pages like i do other books and i think they're like more like talking about like fourth grade because they're both in fourth grade so this one's the newsy newsletter let's go back to something you just said so you said that normally you kind of skip through it yeah and why why do you do that because like some books are not interesting to okay me. All right. So it is your job to find a right fit book, right? Yes. Okay, so you kind of have stumbled upon that you like these. There was another series of books today that Tatiana from my Plus One group was reading that I think you might like, and it's called Kinu, Kinu Something. I want to show it to you because I think it's kind of like this series, and I think you might like it. So what is it about this series that you like? You it's said they're fourth graders. It's about a newsletter. It's about, they're talking about a newsletter, and they want to go on the internet, and, um, uh, auntie, she said that, um, it, it will not be fun to stalk people on the internet, and then they're, they're doing a project for, um, Miss, Miss Good, or their teacher, mm -hmm. and they have to do it on the internet. And it's called a newsy letter. So what do you think that is, a newsy newsletter? You know what a newsletter is? Yeah, when you it? write something. Mm -hmm. And like when the principal has something to tell your parents, she might write a newsletter and send it home. All right. So can you read a little bit for me? What page are you on? I'm on 32. Mr. Roberts, is that door unlocked? She just opened it. But it, is it locked, or is it just not catching? I think it's okay. not catching. Okay. Okay. You're on page 32? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Nikki and Diaja have big plans for at the school. As soon as they finish their homework and get a snack, they are going to go over of their news sto stories and see which ones they want to put in the newsy letter. Maybe they'll even decide on the stories before they do their homework. We're going to be famous, Deidre says as they walk to school that morning. Famous for being the young, youngest people even do you want me to hold it so you can ever, ever to have their own newspaper? News, news letter. Nikki says, kind of like our school newsy. Oh, that's exactly what I said. That comes out every mouth. Actually, Nikki. Does that make sense that comes out every mouth? Go back and look at that. Every. We're right about every, but look at that last word. Mouth. Do you think a newsletter is... Month. Okay, which would make sense? Month. All right, so go back and read and see if you're right. Newsletter, Nikki says, kind of like our school newsletter that comes out every month. Okay, very good. Actually, Nikki doesn't think their newsletter would which will be full of real news will be anything like the school newsletter that letter comes out once a month and reports on brain 
things like field trips and which class have the highest attendance of Could you read with Jordan, Mr. Roberts? At Jordan, right here. Back to school. That's fine, you can read with Mr. Roberts. Their right here. newsletter is going to be way better. That the night before on MD computer, Diaja has picked out a list of stories. Miss Make Miss Maker hand wins blue ribbons, even breaks on being a dare devil global mm -hmm. Good job. tire slushes prizes. Diaja comes up with that one by looking in their real newspaper. And checking the Lego. Lego. Let's look at that. What part of that word do you know? What's go? this part say? I go. If you have ing, what does that say? Ing. Ing. Now add the l to it. Ling. Now add that part. Lingo. Very good. Lingo means like things that a person says. So let me see. And checking the lingo of real headlines, like the speech of real headlines. Like if they read all the different headlines of different newspapers, what those headlines would say. Can you think of another word for a headline? Think about the articles that we're using in our writing right now. What do we call, what comes at the top of that? The topic. The topic, and what do we call that though? When you look at an article, at the very top of the article, that's the title, right? So a headline is kind of the same as a title, okay? So this does seem like a good fit book for you, so I want you to keep going. When do you think you can finish it? Since I want 32, it only got like six more pages, because the last time it had 11. I think the shorter, like these books, like the second one had like, like 11, this one got like only 10. 10 chapters? Yeah. All right, so how much are you going to read this weekend? You've got tonight for tomorrow, and then I'd like to see you. I think you could probably finish this by Monday, don't you? Yeah. Okay. All right, good job.